called myself Retrob. Look at this awesome intro. I love this. It looks so nice. And the uh, lens flare there in the sun. Oh, I just got so excited when I saw that as a kid. Anyway, let's get started. And you can see just how different this game is to the first one as well. It's so different. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> the um, the emojis came up all at random in, the, in that box then. So, it's like... <laughs> oh dear. Again, we're playing the Sonic. You can already tell this game's a lot faster. Look at him stretching to get ready before he goes off on his adventures. Look how much faster the game is already. And you also get these really cool new spin attacks that you can do when you jump off something like that. So if we find another one of them, there's a few different things you can do. You can also go up like that, which helps you get a bit higher up in the stage. But yeah, you can probably already tell this game is completely different to Advance 1. Like, it just feels like a much more modern game, in a way. Whether that's better or worse is debatable. A lot of the game is just press right to win, unfortunately. That's just how it has to be, I suppose, with this sort of level design. But it is a lot more exhilarating. And I think it's more fun to play. Look at these giant loop of loops as well, who calls that? And then, if I find a, a straight bit for long enough, oops, I'll show you what the speed up thing does as well. I mean, you'll probably see it soon anyway. Yeah, we've got an extra life already too. But yeah, what, what do you guys think of this game so far compared to the first one? Pretty crazy difference, right? And then if you hold left as soon as you pass the checkpoint, you sort of skid to a stop, which is really cool. Man, I just love this game. I'm so excited to be playing it again, though. And there is replay value, too, because if you saw those little rings that we saw when we were running around then, there's six of them per stage, I think, and that's how you get to the special stages in this game. And I did used to have it memorised, where they all were. But, uh, yeah, I haven't played it in a long time, and I've completely forgot these days. No, I missed it. Oh, I'm so used to doing that jump after that spiral bit. Sonic 2 has just ingrained that in my memory. And I always try and go up there as well, thinking that there'll be something else to do. And there's a there's another one of these loop the loops. There we go! We've got super speed. Look at this now. The camera can hardly even keep up. It's just crazy. And then get the extra speed that way. And keep it up until the end of the level. If you slow down, obviously you lose it, so... The fun thing to do is to try and keep your full speed all the way up to the end of the level. I love that bit there with the backflip as well, over the loop the loop I, I thought that looked so cool as well as a kid. There we go, really nice stage that one. Really nice finish too. Boss attack. Now you get to see the cool difference in the bosses too, so... Like I was saying before, these ones always constantly move to the right. So everything about the stage is more mobile, in a way. It does also make it a lot more difficult because you get pushed back every time you land a hit. So you have to try and push your way forward again. And obviously, when you lose the rings, they obviously get lost a lot faster too. Like now. But I guess the point then is that you hang back a bit and try and pick some more up before you get back in to attack. And obviously with this boss, he has a nice pattern where the length of the hammer changes. There we go, did that pretty nice. And I could already tell I'm pressing right a lot more because my thumbs already got dented from the SNES controller. There's a new character for this game, Cream the Rabbit. And cheese the chow as well. And they're kind of the easy mode of the game, so if you play as Cream, you can actually throw that little chow like that at, it, at the enemies and it sort of locks onto them like a homing attack. There we go. 
Wow, you're the famous Mr. Sonic? Can I not speed this up? Thank you very much for saving me! What a polite girl. See you later! Don't get caught again! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute! My mum's in trouble. I need to go help her. Okay. Whatever. I'm just here to run. You can now play as Cream because her mum's in trouble. Okay. No, not on the analog pocket, unfortunately. Someone asked me that earlier as well, and unfortunately I don't have the dock yet, so I'm actually playing it on the GameCube. You can see down there. And I just accidentally lifted the table up a bit. Yeah, I don't have the dock for some reason, even though I ordered, I ordered it at the same time as the console. It just hasn't arrived yet. So I'm playing it on the GameCube, on the Game Boy Player. And the music on this stage is amazing. Not that you can hear it over how fast I'm going. But like, compare this stage to the same level 2 from Sonic Advance 1 and the difference is just insane. Like, the quality of the background, the speed of the game, like, how easy it is to control Sonic as well, even though he is going so fast. Although there aren't really any points where you really need to slow down and think about what you're doing, really. At all. No, oh, I messed that up. I always thought that was weird, the way it picks you up then, but it kind of just awkwardly drops you in it. On, like, the top of the jump pad. Oh, I can't get back up. I'm sure I missed something up then. That's the problem with this game as well, it locks you off quite a lot. But I do really enjoy it as its own sort of really fast-paced version of Sonic. And then Sonic Advance 3 is kind of a mix of the two. It slows it down a little bit, more in line with um, Advance 1, in a way. Can I get some speed up before the end of the stage? Yeah, and I got full bonus points too. Awesome. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. I love this music as well. Hopefully you guys can hear it okay. I'll try not to do that as I'm playing. I could easily hum along to this game. I love having those extra abilities as well after the jump. Just giving you that little bit more reach or a little bit more control over it. They really did do a lot to improve how this game feels over the first one. Oh yeah, that was nice. And you can use it to attack enemies in the air as well like that. Which is great. There would be some sort of speed boost for that. And I'm getting tea! Hey, thank you. And Skittles. We can't see him, the camera's too high up. And not Sonic 06. Not Sonic 06. No. Never. Never. Bye. Bye, thanks for the tea. It's too hot. I don't know how you're supposed to get that item box out. The problem with the levels being so much more basic than the first game, there's not really that much to say. Just, I'm running. I'm running to the right. You can definitely notice as well if you look at maps for this game compared to the other Sonic games. This one is literally start at the top and there's like just a slope all the way down to the end of the stage. And that's it. For every level. I just thought when Freedom Planet 2 comes out, should I do that on stream? That might be a fun game to go through with everyone. I love the first Freedom Planet game. I didn't really care for the story that much, though. I 
felt like it got in the way more than anything. Whoa, oh, slow down! No, I only got to the blue section then. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually going to sit down now. Now my back's aching from standing up too much. Oh, this boss fight's annoying. I remember this being a really difficult fight because you can't really judge. I guess you can kind of judge where the bombs are coming from, but it's really hard to get away from. I just realised why my phone was moved back a bit there. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'm trying to get two hits in because I hate this fight. I like the fact you've got that extra spin attack as well. Oh yeah, this is this is where it gets really challenging. Oh no, I haven't got any rings! Oh god, that was close. Yes. Three rings, no rings. Yay, we did it. Not too bad. I remember getting really stuck on that level as a kid, so I must be improving. We did it. We're racing through this game. Oh, I love this level. Music plant. Listen to this music. And the level actually interacts with the music as well, which is really cool. Dun, 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 dun. Whoops. Not a great start. I love this level. You get to, like, jump over pianos, you get to go through trumpets. There's, like, xylophones everywhere. It just looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of that music level in um, in Ristar, in a way. The one with those birds that sing at the end of the game. Or it kind of looks like a level 8 of Rayman. Okay. This is definitely one of the more interesting levels in the game. And that's what I felt the first game was lacking. It didn't really have any unique level themes like this. The first game was very much these are the staples of Sonic and we're sticking to it kind of thing. Which makes sense for the first ever Nintendo Sonic original game. I mean, there was Adventure 2 before it, but that wasn't really an original release. I forget you have the homing attack as well. That's another thing that makes this one feel a bit more modern. Oh, I wasn't going fast enough then. I remember there's an annoying bit later on where you have to keep bouncing um, and there's like different columns that you have to try and get through and the spikes at the top of them. I think that might be in a second. I'm probably missing quite a lot. I'm definitely not trying to look for any of the hidden rings. That's where the replay value in this game comes from, though, trying to... Whoa! Did you see that? How cool was that? I went through his attack. No way. Oh, great. There we go. It is a Sonic Advance game. There's bottomless pits. Maybe that's why I need to try and go higher up in the stage. I'm having flashbacks to that Sky Sanctuary level. Let's try and go up there instead. They just come out of nowhere. It's really, really unfair. And like the springs in Sonic Advance 1, you can stay on these to go higher in the air as well. Oh, maybe I should have tried to go higher then too. Uh, no, I can't go that high. What's the point of that? That doesn't go any higher. Go anywhere. Uh, hey, I found a found a ring. Oh no, oh, I missed it. Yeah, got it. Again, some annoying level designs or level layouts, shall we say? The design itself is fine, it's just 
the placement of some of the enemies could be better. Could be less frustrating. I like that weird animation when you play it there. There we go, we must be at the end, right? Yeah. And a good stop too. So what do you guys think of this stage? I think it's one of my favourite Sonic stages. Apart from that random bottomless pit that I came across. I don't remember that from before. I must have never gone that route before. There's nothing super different about this level compared to the first one. Uh, is this the bit I was complaining about? No. There's one bit later on that's got loads of them back to back, and you have to go through through that sort of area, but there's like four or five of them, one after the other. This is a kind of new idea for this act two. Oh, with a really frustrating narrow gap that you have to try and aim for. There we go. Got one of the hidden rooms at least. So there are actually a lot of different ways to get through these levels. But it's just that if you're playing it normally you wouldn't actually see... Oh, uh, is this the bit I was remembering? It might be. No? Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe that bit doesn't exist. It just exists in my ten-year-old memory of when I first played this game. Whoa, nice landing. Are we gonna get super speed? No. Almost got it, I think. Let's just keep doing that. We're getting somewhere doing that. Uh, oh my god, literally just got up there, right on the edge. Ah! Yes, got two of them. I can't, oh, got three now, actually. I can't remember how many you actually need to find in each level. Is it five? Five or six? Oh wow, so far this game is a hell of a lot easier than the first one. And I don't seem to be losing rings as often either. And there's more of them. Wow, how have I still got my super speed thing? Oh yeah, you can't... Oh no, really? I had a really good streak going then too. Hey, there's another one! Maybe I'll actually find them all in this level. There's four. No. Maybe? Maybe there's four? I think there's more than that though. No, there must have been more. Right, boss fight time. And then we get to find Tails! I like how the characters are introduced to in this one. This one's kind of a familiar boss design as well. Oh, I hope I managed to keep up with them. I keep forgetting about the home in attack. This kind of reminds me of the, the final boss in Sonic Adventure, just in 2D. Man, I forgot how good this game looks as well. The graphics are incredible. So bright and colourful, and the sprites and the animations are really good. Uh, 
Uh, yes. Oh wow, that's it. It was surprisingly easy. Yeah, someone agrees Sonic Advance 2 is a banger game. In fact, I just realised I didn't change the game title, it's also Sonic Advance 1. Sonic Advance 2. There we go. A bit late, but my comment just reminded me of what I'm actually playing. Thanks, Sonic. Eggman just came out of nowhere. Eggman, what's he plotting this time? I've got to hurry, see you, Tails. Huh? Sonic's in a on a mission. Can't wait for any friends. Bam, 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 bam. No, don't want to play his tails. I love how Sonic just like pushes his friends away. He's like, "Hi, no, no, I'm in a rush. I gotta go." <laughs> it's great. Oh, another great level. Great music as well. Oh, so good. So nostalgic. The music in this game is just so much better than Sonic Advance 1. It's just a crazy like upgrade in terms of music and ga and graphics. The only thing that's not as good is the level design. I remember getting annoyed at this level, trying to get all of the rings. Because some of them you have to try and go back on yourself. Hey, I've got that one over there. Yeah, you're going down these like ice slopes, and you have to try and go back up the slope to end up in a bit like an alcove, if I remember right. I remember that was quite frustrating. But apart from that, another great level. Even though they all do kind of feel the same as each other. Hey, there we go, got another one. Maybe I should actually try and slow down and get all of them in one level so you can see what the special stage is like. Man, the music. This is probably some of the best music on the GBA. You probably can't hear it over me talking. I don't know what they did, but they actually made the GBA sound trip sound good. <gasps> no way! Getting squashed in the spikes doesn't kill you straight away! Wow. That is the best improvement in this game. 10 out of 10 Sega, well done. Why didn't you keep that for all future games? There's a seriously good improvement. I also... Oh, I think I missed it, I think. Is that a bottomless pit? A very long bottomless pit. That one went on forever. I was about to say, I think I missed the ring. I think it was down there. Or maybe not? Again, am I just going into the bottomless pit? Yay, great level design. Tea break. Oh, where am I going? No, that's not fair. I didn't even mean to turn that way. Oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? I need to get my sonic head back on. I'm losing focus. Oh, the game's just been stupid for no reason. Okay, don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. Yay, I got one! You have to really time it well there as well. Kind of like Donkey Kong, it's just a really simple version of one of the minecart stages. Uh, it looks like I just missed some spikes there too. No, I missed the rail. So yeah, if you haven't noticed by now, you can only grind the rails if you land on the top of them. Hey, why not? I need that after I fell down that bottomless pit. It's like they know. I'm like, yeah, our level design's up there, we're gonna put some extra lives in. I don't know how you're supposed to time some of these jumps, they just... I guess that's how you're supposed to time them, just by dying and then going back again. Great. Where's it gonna start with time? All the way back here. Okay, well let's see if I can go through the level a bit smoother this time. Ooh, uh, that's not good. Oh, that was... that was half good. Yes, we got to go up there that time too. Excellent. 
so if I remember right, this next one you need to jump. Where am I going? I don't remember coming down here. Whoa! Okay, I remember this bit. There's the one up. So I need to jump pretty soon after I land on the next one of these runways. Yes, I did it! Excellent. And again. Where is it taking me? It's taking me straight to the finish. Act 2. And more awesome music. Kind of a different vibe with this music. A bit more upbeat. But God, I love this soundtrack so much. This might be my number one 2D Sonic game soundtrack. I always listen to the lava level music. I really love that one. But it's just like a quality to the soundtrack that isn't in the first game. Unless I'm just really nostalgic for it, because I was so excited before this game came out. Thanks to that trailer that was included in Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube. If anyone remembers that. And I was really disappointed. I was really disappointed that that trailer in Mega Collection didn't actually include that song in the actual final game. And yeah, Sonic Advance 3 has some really great music as well. I don't know whether we'll be playing that one tonight. I might save that for the next stream. Depends how far I get. I was planning to play all three of them. But I don't know whether I'll play all three back to back. But yeah, Sonic Advance 3 is a really interesting one. They definitely made it a lot more focused on the actual platforming rather than the speed like this one. But I love all three of them in different ways, honestly. But this one's my favourite of the three, as you can probably tell. I'm definitely having a lot more fun playing this in the first game. I know some people really don't like this game, and I can never understand that mentality. Like, what don't you like about it? It's so good. I guess the only annoying thing is if you're trying to get into the special stages. And yeah, this one is a bit easy. But it doesn't detract from the enjoyment. Oh yeah. I don't remember if it's this one or another one, but there's one where you can use those missiles to launch yourself in the air. Maybe not this one. I'm gonna wait for that platform to be usable again. There you go. Okay, you can't stand on the platform, it actually just bounces you off straight away. So I'm gonna sort of time it so you'll do a double jump basically. Oh my god, I'm not timing these explosions very well. Yeah, I got him! I think he's going to start dropping them faster though. Why is it that since they've been going faster I've been dodging them easier? That doesn't make sense. It should be harder. Uh... Oh, I'd be so annoyed if there's no rings now. Right at the end of the fight. Ah! I went straight into that! Go! Really? I thought that would be it then. Is there another hit? Let's keep going! Yeah, there we go. I haven't died on a boss yet. I'm doing really well. In terms of boss fights, at least. I'm really enjoying playing through this, even more than I thought I would. Sky Canyon! Let's see how this compares to the sky level in Sonic Advance 1. 
I love this countdown as well, the fact that he just starts sprinting straight away. So cool. I do remember this level also has a problem with bottomless pits though. Just like the one from Advance 1. It just has much better music. But there are some really annoying sections with this level too, if I remember right. So I'm going to try and get higher up in the level, so that I don't have to worry so much. Oh no! Oh, that was my that was my own fault. That was my own fault. I jumped off. Go! I don't know why he shouts go, but it says start. That was kind of an oversight. Okay, whatever. I don't care. As long as I can get one ring. Oh, perfect. Ah, that's how you do it Okay. I feel a little bit safer now. We've got a bit higher up. And that spring is very slowly giving me a bit more height. And I did not need to go into the spin dash then. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, it's going to shoot me back over here. Okay. Whee! And then go up. I love that mechanic for them, like, wind turbine things that spin around and shoot you off in a different direction. It just looks really cool. And hey, is that my first time seeing one of those question mark ring boxes? There's one mandatory special jump. Yeah, I remember there's something that puts me off every time I play this level, but I can't remember what it is. I'll see it soon anyway. Whoa, I took that loop a bit weird. Whoa, what a waste of a speed boost. Oh no. Whoa, I went through the wall. Okay, I found a special special ring somehow. Whoa, let's go. Yeah, a bit of extra height there to get on this grind rail. Luckily, I managed to get on the other one then, too. I really thought I was going to miss that one. I think I'm doing pretty well. I've gone quite high up in the level. Yeah, finished. Excellent. No worries with part one, then. Such a fun level. No, for act two. This might be the one that trips me up. Let's see. get through the whole game to this point without reading the manual, then 7-1 shows up. Oh, I suppose so, you might not realise that you can do that. Oh no, oh no! There we go, there's the famous Sonic Advance level design rearing its ugly head. Where are the chili dogs? They're in uh, Sonic and the Black Knight, he falls through the sky and a chili dog lands on his head. Yeah, five one. I wonder if I can jump back onto that one. It's going to be a different way. Oh, no, but luckily there is some floor here. And now there isn't. Whoops. Oh, God. They... Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. Ah, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know why they don't use chili dogs more in Sonic games. They made a big deal about it, loving chili dogs in the comics and the TV show. Bring back chili dogs. Okay, I'm not going to risk going down there again. I'm just going to go the normal route. Oh, yes! Nicely done. I am scared in this level, though. I know there is a few... Um, instant death pit. So I'm trying to go and get as high up as I can again. Although there's some other really awkward platforming sections in this level too, if I remember right. Like those floating blocks. I mean, that bit was okay, but I think later on there's more that might cause more problems. Can I go up there? 
can go up here though. I think the clouds blocking off the bottom of the screen as well is giving me anxiety. Like, am I still at the bottom of the stage even though I've gone this far up? Is something bad going to happen? And I messed that up. Let's try again. That's better. Whee! Let's keep going up. Two rails as well. I wonder if that bottom one takes you somewhere better. And another two. I love how easy the rails are to grind on in this game. In Advance 1, there are rails, but they're really difficult to use. You have to time it and press R at exactly the right time. But, um, whoa, where's it taking me? That's not fair. Gotta go, thanks for the stream. No worries, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed what you managed to catch anyway. And I'll definitely be doing more Sonic games in the future, so... If you enjoyed this, there's more to come. Yeah, thanks so much. Oh no! This is the bit I remember. Look at how far you fall before it kills you as well. Mm. I knew it. I knew that bit was coming. I just couldn't remember what exactly it was. Have I avoided that? Oh yeah, you can keep facing that as well to get your speed boost up, which I always used to really enjoy doing. Whee! I should have done it again there, never mind. There's plenty of chances to go full speed. And then grind to a halt as you're fearing for your life going up these springs. Yeah, I think I found that out by accident, because I was trying to run past them, like you can in Sonic 2. And instead, it just kept speeding me up. I was like, oh, cool. You can actually use that to your advantage. Boss attack. Here we go. Now we're going to save Knuckles. And try not to be grabbed by the weird ferris wheel fist. I don't know what that cannon is doing, it's not really doing anything. Oh, oh, okay. It's just a weird instant death laser beam. Cool. Oh, no, I didn't get any rings. Is this where the boss fights are going to start getting challenging? Let's try and focus a bit more. Can I actually hurt the hand? So the only thing I need to aim for is the cannon. Yeah, I really don't remember this fight at all. That is kind of scary. It looks like a really scary laser as well, just the black beam out of nowhere. Can I... Oh, no! Really? Now I remember why I hate this one. So, stay clear of the hand completely then. Got it. Nope. I'm not going anywhere near you. i got to be really careful on this one, then. Oh my... Oh, that comes out of nowhere, too. Ugh. Man, I hate this. Just keep doing this and keep... Keep going back. Oh, God. But I think I need to free Knuckles as well. I need to try and do both. Uh, I need rings. Really? Oh, I was getting a bit risky then, trying to get two hits in. I'm just going to hold back here. No rings! Ah. Oh. I'm going to use up all my lives on this fight, aren't I? Okay. Concentrate, mate. It's not that difficult. You can't even hit the side of the thing either. That hand's horrible. Oh, it's difficult as well because it takes so long to build up enough speed to actually hit the things there too. 
I don't know whether it's better to keep trying to run to get past the laser, or whether you should jump over it. Oh hey, the laser's gone now. I don't even need to worry about it. But I think the hand's getting longer. It's doing something weird. I'm going to try and punch it instead. I don't know what's going on now. Oh, yeah, what's it doing? Don't do that. No! Oh, really? I bet that was right near the end, too. I need to not rush it, I need to wait for the route. Hang back, gather more rings first. I don't know when to time it to jump over that. Oh, I got rid of that pretty fast. Okay. Crazy hand. Stop it. If I just hang right back... Can you just leave me alone? Please. Okay, go! Oh wow, I didn't even get hit. Excellent. Right. What's he going to do now? Another slap? Is he going to do the weird spinning thing? I'm just waiting for it to calm down. Okay, now go. Ah, oh, really? I was being so cautious of the hand and the spikes on the thing got me. Oh, that was close. Ah! Uh. Okay, now go. Oh no, the music's changed. Something bad's gonna happen. Nothing bad's gonna happen? Oh, really? That should have counted as two hits. Huh? I think I've nearly done it. I can go in. Oh. Okay. Let's wait for a few more rings. Okay, and wait for a few more, more rings. And I missed it, damn it. Five rings, maybe that's enough. Oh, oh what, what, why? That's not fair. Why did that kill me? God. Oh my god, I hate this. Any enthusiasm... From, yeah, I can't even say the word. Any enthusiasm I had for this fight is gone. That's just horrible. I hate that you can't even attack Knuckles from the side either. No, I hate it! Oh. Why does that slap kill you in one hit? That's not fair. I'll take it back. This isn't my favourite Sonic Advance game. This is ridiculous. This has literally ruined the whole game. Every other fight up until now I've been able to do on the first try. This one's taken nine, eight lives off me so far. Okay, good, we got an early hit on Knuckles. Whoa! Oh, really? Even though the thing was getting away then. Even the music's annoying. Oh, really, that didn't count. I 
I don't even know when it's safe to go up to him anymore, if that's going to happen again. I didn't even get hit again. Okay, nearly done, I think. Oh my god, I was so scared then. I thought that was it. I'm right, getting it, right? Nope, nope, nope. I'm not even getting close to it. Yes, one more hit, come on. I presume there's one more hit left. No, I'm waiting. Oh, good job I waited. <clears throat> okay, let's try. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe I should just stay back and get 100 rings. Just to be in with another chance. Yes! Finally! On my last life as well. Oh my god, that boss fight was horrible! Oh man, that was horrible. I'm so glad we finished that. I don't know what's wrong with Knuckles. Oh my god. You know, the strangest thing just happened. Whatever, see you Knuckles. Why is Sonic so rude to all his friends? Now you can play as Knuckles. Moving on, Techno Base. Three, two, one, go! Go! You can tell we're getting towards the end of the game now, because everything's crazy, psychedelic. This is this game's equivalent of whatever the end of game space level is in the other Sonic games. Although, in terms of level design, it feels exactly the same as all the other ones. Whoa, where am I going? It's sending me all the way back again. Literally sent me all the way back. Let's try and land on the rail this time. Here we go. I really need to try and get an extra life or two. So maybe I should try and slow down a bit and pick up a few extra rings. That will help. Doesn't seem to be many enemies. Weird. Yeah, maybe the background's a little bit too crazy. Oh, as soon as you said that, it stopped flashing. I guess on the GBA it wouldn't be so pronounced because the screen's a lot darker. I'm not far off getting an extra life. Nearly got 80 rings. I really need them after that fight. That fight was horrible. Yeah, this level's kind of nothing really, in a way. Ah, no, I'm so close. It definitely has that early 2000s. GBA game vibe though, like Mega Man Battle Network or Metabots or something like that kind of era. Which I can appreciate. And it also feels kind of like something out of F-Zero GX, with the funky techno music.
But in terms of level design, there's nothing really interesting going on. Oh, not quite high enough to go there. Hey, it's the first one of them we found in a while. Oh, did I do that wrong? I don't know why they're so hell-bent on putting bottomless pits everywhere. It doesn't add anything to the game. You don't know where they are. You have no idea of when they're going to appear. There's nothing you can do about them. They're literally there to punish you for no reason. Just to make you scared of ever jumping anywhere. Oh look, there's another one! Great! Love this game. And now I'm on the final life as well. Thanks to that last boss fight. Wow, the one moment in the game where you have to actually stop. I'm scared. What is it doing? Where is it sending me? The background's putting me off as well. Oh no! Um, what's below here? Going back over there. I know it's safe. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 I was ready to throw the control on the floor in, in a rage then. What is this level design? What is going on? Whoa, okay, that's better. Just hold left there. Then. I'm gonna get more rings. Some up there. Try and get them. No, I only needed four more. That's not fair. They put that directly in the route that you would be going down. I can't remember where I died last time either, so... Oh! There's the end of the stage. Thank God! I don't like that level. Get me out there. On to Act 2! going to be nice and give me a chance to pick some rings up without... I don't even know what happened then, I just walked across the floor. Apparently there was something on the floor. Hey, I found another secret ring. Sonic Anther. Which is a game that's better than Sonic 06. Uh, I hate the fact that if you change direction when you're on the ceiling, it starts sending you the other way. Oh, that was, that was the floor I was on earlier. And I presume if the floor disappears, it's an instant death pit. Where am I supposed to go there? Okay, I'll just go where you tell me to. That seems to be a theme in this game. Okay, I'll just let the level guide me and hope it doesn't send me into a pit. Yes. There's my chance to not panic and try and get some rings. That's a weird looking at me. Whee! There was another giant ring there. Hmm. Come on, 
nearly back to 100. And now something's going to get in the way and kill me, isn't it? Three more! Three more! Come on! Please be kind. Yay! I did it! Right at the end of the stage too. That was lucky. Oh no, here we go. I've only got two attempts for this one. It's boss time. So, what is going on with this boss? Any mm, rings? Wow, it's difficult to dodge them. So when they flash red, that means that there's going to be spikes coming out of them. Is it? Oh no, that wasn't fair. Doesn't seem like there's many rings on this one. Which is going to be difficult. going to try and get the timing down right for when you can jump over these. I like this idea for a boss. Definitely a cool design. Whoa. Close again. Oh my god, I don't know how I managed to dodge them once. Okay. Yes, got another hit in. I'm just going to stay here and wait for some more rings, hopefully. No! Okay, okay, I'm going for it. Okay, one more hit in. Yes, I did it! Oh my god, I was not even breathing then, that's how, how much attention I was paying to that fight. Wow. That was a fun fight, that might be my favourite one so far actually. Considering how horrible the last one was, that one was actually pretty enjoyable. Yeah, that was intense towards the end. I really like that design. I can't believe I did it so easily. Now the Egg Utopia to the final two levels. What time is it? It's only... It's not even 10 o'clock yet, maybe I can play, play through Sonic Advance 3 as well. I'm not tired yet, anyway. I'm not even three. Did I say three o'clock? I meant ten o'clock. Maybe I am tired. I'm not hearing things. Now, I don't remember if there's anything annoying about this level. I guess we'll find out soon. Oh, yeah, there's the annoying thing. <laughs> it was just waiting for me. Whee. Oh, really? Even though I was in a ball. Oh, hey, look! A level that actually tells you when it's going to turn into anti gravity. Cool. Cool. Just put a giant spike ball in the way for no reason. Why does that sound like banjo kazooie music? Hopefully, it restarts me at that level, considering I just started a new world. Let's see where it takes me back to. I love that intro. Sonic Advance 2! Let's see. Oh yeah, we got all the other characters. Oh no. Oh, thank god. I thought it took me back to the start then. Oh no. We can, we can go back to Egg Utopia. Let's try that again. Now I've got a few more lives to work with, too. That scene there, where you're going through space, so good. Reminds me of Sonic Adventure 2 so much. Like, if there's one still in the game that I would like use as a screensaver or a wallpaper or something, it would be that scene then. Classic, modern era Sonic. Oh, I really tried to jump then. Oh, 
I'm not sure how you meant to get them up there. Is there actually a way of jumping on them? It looks like there is, I'm gonna keep trying. Let's get some more momentum. Maybe that's better actually. Can I Let's try again. One, two, three. Yeah, we did it! Excellent. Let's see if this takes us to a better path. It didn't really do anything. Wow! Most pointless shortcut award goes to that section. Oh, maybe it did send me somewhere else. I didn't see that before. Is that gonna kill me? Sonic Events. I'm not even mad anymore, I'm just like... You've got no chance to react to that if that's your first time going through this level, but they just want to kill you anyway, just... because they're sadistic like that. <laughs> just laugh at this point. So unfair. And that is. Whee. I'm not even going to attempt to go there this time, because... Uh, I guess you avoid the anti-gravity section, I guess. Right, so I need to jump. Right now! There we go. Back on the rail. Well, live and learn plays in the background. At some point I'm going to play through the adventure games on stream. So, stay tuned! Sonic Adventure streams confirmed. Really? And yeah, don't worry, they're just as janky as some of these levels. Well, maybe not quite as bad. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, okay. Up here? Down here? What would you call that? You know what, I've never actually played all the way through Sonic Adventure 1 with all characters. I've played it through millions of times as Sonic and Tails, but whenever I go around to playing it as any of the other characters, I get kind of bored of it. So if I do it on stream, at least I'll have more of a reason to play through the entire thing. Like, obviously I've seen the ending already and I know the really cool boss fight with Chaos at the end, but I've never done it myself and I really want to do that. So when we get around to Sonic Adventure, I want you guys to cheer me on when we get to Big the Cat, so I don't just give up straight away, as I always do. This is a long level. Or I've just been dying a lot, so it feels longer than it is. Now I'm scared again, because we're outside and that means bottomless pits. Yet yeah, the game wants me to continually run forward into the unknown. Or straight into an enemy, thanks. Is that the end of the stage? Yay, not bad. Pretty fun stage. Two, one, go! Mm, now we're upside down outside! And of course they put an enemy right in the way to make you lose your coins before you can even have a chance to gain any. Coins, rinse, whatever. Man, I hate those enemies as well with the spikes on the side. I like the way this level's just throwing me around from one corner to the other though, that's kind of fun. Not anymore though. Now it feels exactly the same as all the other levels again. Just with a bit of upside downness thrown in for good measure. And loads of enemies just in the way for no damn reason. 
Like, I don't even think there's a way of avoiding some of those enemies. They're just there. If that was a bottomless pit, I would have been so mad. A lot of this, it really feels like you have no control over what's actually going on. And that is something that they improve a bit in Sonic Advance 3. Which we'll see shortly. Checkpoint! Oh, I nearly ran off the edge, right? I'm always really scared that I need to jump at the last second now because of that horrible rail that came out of nowhere on the last one of them. What am I supposed to do there? Go down here instead? Was that a bit just a trick? Kind of seems like it. Always do that up and R1. Just in case. I suppose I should spin dash more as well, so I don't run into the enemies, because it's kind of my fault. I shouldn't complain too much about being hit by them once. Oh no. Okay, that wasn't my fault. They love putting these ramps in this level. What? What was the point of that ramp? Dun -dun 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 -dun. No boss fight? I guess we have a special boss fight. Oh yeah, the boss fights come after this one, don't they? Okay, what have we got in store this time? Spider Eggman. Could call him Spider-Man. Okay, and we got some interesting anti-gravity mechanics going on. And unavoidable explosions. Unavoidable explosions. Okay. Great. At least I know what's in store for me. So, what is the plan of attack here? I do not know when I can actually dodge that. Do I need to do the level again? Let's see. Back to the title screen. I forgot how difficult these end of game levels are. I could play as Cream and just stand back and just throw. Oh, we have to do them both again? Eh. Uh, that's pants. Never mind. It's not even like these levels are that interesting. It's not like I can find a better route through them or anything. Uh, maybe I can. Let's see if there's anything on this side. What's the point there? It's just a random section that you can't do anything. Oh no! Oh no! I kind of found a new area. Let's try and go that way again. I'm trying to keep this fresh. I really want to try and get some extra lives as well because the way it's working, I can only get to the boss with two lives unless I get more. I guess at this point it'd be better just to reset. Now if this was a let's play and not a live stream, I would have just cut that previous attempt out completely. And we would have just started from here. You wouldn't know that I've already done these levels before. The joys of editing, right? Can't do that live. But you get to see the struggle. Really? I'm tempted just to kill myself. Don't take that out of context. Huh. Is there a thing there? Yeah, there is. Okay. Man, my thumb's hurting from holding right so much. That should be the quote from review of this game. My thumb hurts from holding right so much. 
Yeah, insta kill, crush blast. Let's go. Ready for him to appear again? Whoa! Yeah, I made it through that time. Random insta kill, crush blast that sometimes kills you, sometimes doesn't. It's like I want to try and slow down so I can collect more rings, but. There isn't a chance. Oh god, the city level in Sonic Advance 3 is stupid. Especially that one, like, bit where you're, like, bounced around and then there's a bit where you have to land on a spike and there's, there's no option and then it hits you down the path. It's like, what, what sort of level design is that? Especially in the first stage. I have nearly got 100, but I've also got zero, so I would have been better off just resetting. I've also got zero lives in there. Oh, I didn't notice that. But there's one of those hand rider sections. I don't know what you call it. Yay, we got a life back. And we've got a speed up when I don't need it. Telling me to get in there. Maybe. I'm just getting scared then. Fire down, I guess? Whoa, that was close. Oh, oh, no, no. Yes, I want that. I want that. Let's see whether we can get another life. Oh, no. Okay. I thought that was going to be a bottomless pit, but no. Surprisingly. There are random spikes in the floor there. Great. Oh, oh, go up, go up, go up! Am I dead? Eh, whatever. Stupid level. I'm gonna do it again just to get my two lives back. And we can try this again, probably. Oh no! Back to the title screen. How sad. Yeah, maybe I won't end up playing Adven Advanced 3 at this rate. I'll save that for the next stream. I don't think I can deal with more Sonic Advanced level design after this. <laughs> Let's just get back into the game. It starts off so well, this game does. Like, up until Sky Canyon Act 2. The first four worlds and the first world of Act 5 are some of the best, best Sonic levels in my opinion. And then you get to these last two levels, and they're just like... The difficulty spike is just insane, for no real reason. Especially with having such a hard boss at the end, and then forcing you to replay the levels. for the instant death block. Hey, we got through it. Oh, there we go again. And that again. I don't even care anymore. Really. I don't think there was anything I could have done to stop him attacking me then either. Am I going a different way than before? I don't think I've been up here before. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I've been this way actually. Damn it, I got excited over nothing. I thought I was taking a new route. Lost a life yet though, which is good. I don't want to jinx it. Oh. Oh, that, was a, that was a ring. More than halfway. Come on, can we get at least three lives to fight the boss with? That would be nice. I want to try and go up there. That's a new route. Let's see if we can get enough speed. 
the upgrade. Let's go! Go to the left! Yes, okay, let's see where this takes us. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice. I love this game. I love parts of this game. I hate not being able to see where I'm going when I'm on when I'm in the these like outside areas. I hate it, just jumping into nothing and not knowing what's gonna happen. It's terrifying. Get those three rings. Might be worth it. I hope. Oh, really? As soon as I get any a good amount of rings, something just gets in the way that I have no control over. What? That wasn't fair. Uh, don't stay on there too long. That's the end of the stage. Okay. We still have the two lives that we had when we started. That's that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Here we go. Act two. Go. There's a load of rings there, maybe I should have stayed in that section a bit longer. And there. Damn, they're really throwing the rings out over here. Did we go left or right? Let's try going here. Nice. There's a good amount of rings at the start of this one. That's kind of scary having that enemy right there though. Don't want to go too fast. Okay, we are more than halfway. I want to go back up here. That was the first time I got to use that backflip attack. That's very cool. And the bouncing one to slow, slow you down straight away too. Okay, let's try that for a third time. Ready? Let's see where it's going to take us. Nowhere. Okay, it's been pretty fair so far. I don't know how long that's going to last though. And I've got a shield as well, so... Pretty good chance I'll get 100. I'm careful. Six. Yay, we did it! Let's see whether I can keep it. <sighs> Ooh, okay. Oh, cool. So if you go the other side of the, um, what do you call them, anti-gravity arrows, it stops affecting you. So, oh, there's a rail there somewhere. That was lucky. Let's see if this takes me a nicer route. I missed some speed shoes. Oh, nice. I guess I didn't need to worry so much. Hey, this level's actually been kind of fair to me this time. And I got a checkpoint. Excellent. And four... Four lives, right? That'll give us a few good chances of the boss. Do I try going down there? See what's down there? Let's try. Uh, uh, okay, it's not anything. It's just the exit for a different route.
Oh no! Oh. oh yeah, this is the weird part of the level that doesn't really direct you anywhere, I remember. I'm scared again though. Back inside. Damn it, stupid knives. I need to remember to keep holding down when I'm going on a straight path. I've given up trying to get another life at this point. I'm just happy with the four that I've got. If I can make it with four to the end. Yay! Okay, right, we've got four attempts. Let's try this fight again. And I kind of know what I'm doing. I still don't really know how to dodge the explosions very well, though. Then somehow. Maybe I just have to stay on the edge of the screen. I don't really understand when when I'll actually get a chance to attack him. Yet. God, he goes so fast. Oh. Guys, help me out here. When do I when do I dodge that explosion? What am I not timing right? That's no help. Oh my! When are you supposed to jump? It feels like. Unless I need to be on the other side of the screen. I don't know. When he's flying from one side of the screen to the other? I can't jump far enough to jump over the over the explosion. Look, can't jump far enough. There's a stupid trick. Okay. If I get down to one more life. Then you can tell me what the trick is. I want to. I want to try and do it properly, but I just can't. Can't get the timing down for this. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Am I? Am I meant to be trying to stay in the middle of the screen? I meant to stay in the middle and then try and jump backwards. I really don't. Get it. And now I've lost all my rings again. Like I literally jumped at the last second possible then and couldn't get over it. This just seems way too unfair. I can't even see when the explosions are coming because they're off the side of the screen. That one I managed to dodge somehow. Is he gonna come flying forward? Okay. I think when that like sound goes. Oh. Was that just good timing? That sound. Oh, okay. I got a hit. I need rings. He's coming back up here now. 
Uh, oh. Wait, no. That was not obvious at all. No. What? Oh my god, I feel so stupid! No! Oh my god, really? You can press up and down to move. I don't even know how I figured that out. Ah, uh, I died anyway, but man. At least I know what to do though. It's still not easy. I can't believe that. That. You've never been able to do that at any other point in the game. Now I'm going to try and do it too much and end up dying. It's kind of difficult to control. Oh, I can't believe that. What a joke. Two hits. Nice. This boss suddenly became a lot more fun. Rings, knee rings, knee rings. Oh, that was close. Yes, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, once I understood that fight, I enjoyed it. My hands are sweaty, though. Oh my god. I can't believe you could change the gravity. They never did that in any other point of the game. My god. Okay, final level. Looks like a boss rush. Just like the first game. Except they don't have a callback to Sonic 1 in this one. Wow. Oh my god, the first boss is so easy compared to what we've just had to deal with. Oh no, I'm not looking forward to facing the one at the end of that sky level again. The giant slappy hand. This one was a bit difficult as well. No! Oh, do I have to fight them all? One after the other? I'm determined to beat it. I know this is going to drive me crazy. Invincibility. Nice. Okay, this is where this one gets difficult. At least there's rings. It'd be horrible if it made you do it without rings. That's two down. The only one I'm really dreading is the hand. Man, this music's getting my blood pumping as well. Come on. Number three. I've only got two rings. This boss wasn't too bad, if I remember right. Okay, you can't do anything there, because it's put the top ones out first. Can I jump on that one? I don't think I can jump that high. Okay, got him. I get another hit? Three? Whoa, yes, three hits and one. Nice. Ha! It's already been destroyed. 
I just thought it might be really easy to get one ups here. Just leave this so that all of them are destroyed and then just keep collecting rings. Would that work? I might try it. Just until I've got to 100. Or are they going to stop appearing? I know there's still one turret alive, but I don't care about that one. It only seems to fire when it feels like it. Is this cheating? Not really. Why does the music cut out then? It's like it doesn't loop properly. Oh, okay. I knew what I was doing. Ah! I lost them all immediately. That's what I get for trying to cheat. Huh. Okay, you can't just stay there and farm rings. I thought they might have stopped you doing that. Okay, this one's not too difficult. If I remember right. It's just do it, getting the timing right, isn't it? Like a skipping rope. Like a very angry skipping rope. And you can't attack him from below, so don't even bother trying. Ah, nice, they've been using a little double tap dash thing that I never use. Maybe that's useful, actually, for getting back closer to the bosses. Oh, I've lost my timing. Oh no. Oh, too slow. No, too slow! Oh my god, you really have to get the timing down perfect for this. At least you can hang back. I think that's the last three rings on this section there. Yes! Okay, got it. Ah, I'm teaching you new things. Yeah, if you jump in the air and double tap, you can like slide forward and backwards. I'll show you when I get control again. Or the other way. Oh no, I shouldn't do it on this fight though. Although maybe that will help actually. Where's the laser? Where's the laser? There it is! Ooh, doing better this time. Ah! Does it? Maybe not. No. Ah, damn it, that was my last life as well. I knew that was the boss that would catch me out, and I am so sweaty. My hands are sweating so much. Right, we're nearly done anyway. Let's go and do that again. We can whiz through those first three fights now. Easy. Easy Peter. Let's get straight back into it. Dun 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 Okay, let's go again. And I guess I get two lives. Yeah. Does it really matter on this boss rush? Because I'd only start from the same place again, right? How did that not hit me? You know what I might do for some of these easier ones? I'll try and get as many rings as I can. Before the fight finishes. So I've got more of a chance of picking up 100 on the next one. I actually pick them up instead of jumping over. Thirty-four. I guess it's a bit too difficult to get hundred, really. But let's see how we do. Ah, no. You'll lose them instantly as soon as you start the next fight, anyway. Ah, oh, this... the timing on this one's really difficult. Hey, I'm doing okay so far, though. I wonder 
if I could use it here at all. Uh, the, prob the problem is with using that boost move is that um, you're not curled up when you hit the enemy, obviously. So maybe it's not really that useful. Oh wow, I did that easy. Rings, rings, give me rings! Yes, done it. Okay, that's two down. The spinning stacked one, isn't it? Quite an easy one. Although I do get a bit nervous trying to jump on the top one. Why do the turrets not do anything sometimes? It's, it's weird. Wow, okay, that is definitely the easiest one. Time to face the hand of death again. The one after that's fun, though. Man, my thumb is hurting from pressing right so much. Oh, not quite the hand of death. We've got to do the skipping rope one. The one I like to call the skipping rope challenge. Even better. Oh, I didn't even realise I was going up then. Whoops. That was my fault. No, no, I hate those slopes. God, this is tense. Hang back. No. Charge forward. Oh my god, oh my god, yes! Did it! Okay. We're back on target. And we've got an extra life this time. Okay. Moment to breathe. Moment to breathe. Even the timer stopped. Uh, here we go. Okay. Okay, sorry if I don't talk much right now. I'm really trying to concentrate on this one. Ah! Eggman's in there instead of Knuckles. Ooh, that was close. He's going to do it again. No, go for it. Hey, thanks for the raid. And I got slapped again. Hello, whoever's just joined. JP Wardo one hello. Thank you for joining. At the scariest moment of the game so far. I've been really struggling on this fight. Come on, one more hit. Surely one more hit. He's going to attack again. He's not far enough up. No, no, I've missed my chance. Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay, okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. No! Hit the side, now I'm going to hang back again. Ah, oh, really? Please tell me I haven't used up all rings. Thank God. No, really? Yeah, you should definitely play the advanced games. Yes! Yes, did it! 
Man, I hate that boss fight so much. The next one, if I remember right, is fun though. Yeah, unfortunately, you just missed me playing through the first two games. I'm right at the end of it now. So, sorry about that, but you can catch up on Twitch or YouTube after. And I've had a great time playing through them, so definitely recommend checking them out. So, yeah, the, uh, the thing you have to watch for in this fight is obviously these... The flashing lights, because sometimes the platforms have spikes that come out of them. And obviously the stuff that he's firing straight away as well, and now I need rings. Can I get on that one? Yes, got hit him. Okay, whoa, we only fired two then, that was weird. Okay, whoa, that was a lot easier. Thank God for violence. Yes, and I put them all on YouTube as well, so you can watch over there too. What time is it where you are? Because I've had a few people from America watching today. And when I started, it was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon for them. So I wonder if streaming in... Ah, I know what to do now! I wonder if streaming in the evening UK time isn't really that easy for a lot of people. Oh, yes! I did it easy! Huh! Now I know what to do. Okay, what's next? I spent so long on that fight, I don't even remember what one after that was. Is that it? Was that the last one? Oh, okay. You're in the same time zone then. No, what do I need to do? There's spikes in the ceiling. Oh, 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 he's going to push me into them. No. I will not allow it. And I can destroy his hands as well. Okay. I feel like I'm just trying to chase my way through this fight. Where's my ring gone? Whoa. That was close. Maybe I should just hold back and get him to fire his fists at me, like this. Oh god, that one's close! No rings. Come on. I'm scared, I'm scared! How many more hits can I take? Oh! Whoa, that was close. Okay, I'm going to stand back a little bit. Come on! Oh, what? What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Are you going to give me some rings? Okay, we got three. I'm going to try and take it a bit more steady this time. I feel like I was going a bit crazy then. Ha, <laughs> no way, Ultimate Flash Sonic. Yeah, it used these sprites, didn't it? I remember that game. Way back in the day. Whoa! That was close. Right, I think I just gotta... ...stand back a bit here. Your first experience with Sonic was through a fan Flash game. That's crazy. That's crazy. What did you think of Sonic, if that was your first experience with it? Did it make you want to play the games? It was a really good, like, flash game at the time. It was very impressive. Okay, I'm doing a lot better this time. Ooh, that was risky. That is risky as well, but I did it anyway. concentration now. At least this isn't as horrible as Sonic 2's final boss. Sonic 2's final boss is just the worst ever. Okay, we got rid of both his hands. Now I just need to try to not lose any rings. Uh, 
And don't get stabbed by the spikes on the ceiling either. That is some pretty horrible level design. You have to quickly run back then. Oh! Oh no! No, if you get hit by that, the rings just disappear. Ah! Oh. No! 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 Okay, we're gonna do it again. Ah, oh, I feel so bombed out after that. We can do it. I can't believe that. That was probably the final hit as well. The final hit of the final boss. Well, I was planning to stream for like another half an hour anyway, so... We can do it. I was so ready to wrap this game up then. Oh, my heart hurts. But hey, we're gonna get better at the bosses, right? See? We're gonna get better at it. Try it on it. I can't pretend to be happy about that. <sighs> I forgot if you stand too close to him. Whoa, I went really high then for some reason. So I try and speed run the boss fights. Or at least see if I can get through all of them without dying once. I almost died right then. Oh god, this is scary. Okay, we're done. It's two down. do this. I'm not in the right headspace now after that. This one's an easy one. Yes, come on, just keep, st just stay up there, just stay up there. Ah, I didn't even mean to hit that, I just wanted to jump on it. Ah, got him. Okay. Now the next one... No, the next one is the skipping rope one, isn't it? The one after that is the horrible one. We got this. This one's just all about timing. Uh, I hate that there's no easy way to land after that, though. Is the idea just to jump all the way back? I guess so. Uh, I've lost my rhythm. Just jump all the way to the back of the screen again. Oh, what is going on with Sonic's animation, though? Why was he not doing a normal jump? Yes, got him. Okay, right, now we need to concentrate. This next one. Oh, this is the bad one. Okay, guys, cheer me on. My heart is racing, it genuinely is. I, I love and hate these boss fights, boss rushes, in equal measure, I think. Give me rings, give me rings. Why is that hand so aggressive in this one? Ah, the laser! Laser beam! No! I'm getting too worked up. I need to concentrate! Okay, we got rid of the laser beam. One hit. 
think you only need to do three, right? Two. I'm staying back. He's too close. Oh, he's still got me. Okay, now I'm going in. Okay, one more. One more. No! Oh, I hate your hand. If you get too close to the hands, it's just instant death. Get out of the way straight away as soon as you hit the uh, capsule. Mm, no, he's too close. Oh, yes, I got it. I forgot it does that. Yes, I got it from the side, excellent. Great. Do I wait? I'm waiting. I'm still waiting, I'm not going to risk that. Yes, got him! Okay, okay. Um, oh, sweating. We did it, we did it, we did it! And the next one's a fun one. Oh, the one after's a fun one. I was on about those one. This one's really difficult to dodge the... Uh... Oh, I did it! I dodged them. Too soon. I'm hanging back until I can get some rings! Oh my god. Oh, I swear this game isn't good for my heart. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay, we did it. Next one is the anti gravity one. Started to really enjoy, so. Yes. Hey, go! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I did that easy. Excellent. Yes, 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 yes. Are we back? We're back. I've got two chances. Stand right here. Wait for the fist. And remember, if I touch that laser, instantly lose every ring with no chance of getting them back. And then if you touch it again, it's just instant death. Oh, I went too soon. That was a bit too eager then. That laser up there is just horrible. It's just filling me with dread and anxiety every time I see it. Ah, uh, no, I missed it. Okay, okay, go. Ah! Oh man, no, he got hit by the spikes. I don't know what happened there. You really don't have much room to move on this one. Oh my god, how many hits do they take? I'm forgetting to breathe again. Okay, one down. Two down. Now I've got to figure out when is the best time. 
Uh, maybe I can just keep doing that. Maybe we can just keep doing that. When it's coming back down. Have I found it? Have I found the way? It looks like it's working. The timing's the same. Each time. If that's all we have to do. Oh, nearly missed it then. Oh no, has the timing changed? It's getting faster. Whoa, yes! I didn't think that would work. We did it! Sonic Advance 2 complete! We did it! Final level finished. Yay! No, I think it is getting a bit too late to start Sonic Advance 3, so I'll save that one for the next stream. Which will probably be next Tuesday now, because I'm going away uh, to London for a week with work. So, until I get back... That will be it for now, but thank you so much, guys, for joining me tonight. I really did enjoy playing through these two games. Even though I complained a little bit, I genuinely did enjoy myself. They're two fantastic games, and if you've never played them before, I definitely recommend you give them a go. And... I guess that's it, unless there's any credits. we get a little bit of credits. And, oh yeah, you'll be away in sunny America. Enjoy. Alright, and with that said, I guess I'll end the stream here, so thank you everyone so much for joining. Really enjoyed playing it, and check out the VOD if you missed any of it, I'll put it on YouTube and on Twitch, so check links for that whenever this renders in the background, so probably tomorrow at some point. Anyway, thank you all so much, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, thanks for joining, thanks for cheering me on, I really enjoyed playing these, so I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks again. Goodbye!